Uh, the, U- the US is justifying against me right now. Really? Yeah. Is that because you're justifying on Venezuela? Possibly. Venezuela. 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 Yeah. It's actually justifying against one of us. I don't know who. That could be you. I think it's, they're justifying against maybe the Czechoslovakian... Czechoslovak? Czechs? I don't know the Czechs for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe that's just the last one I selected. Roosevelt's already fighting off the fascist menace. You know. Is he? Oh, I see. So that's what he's doing. He's researching the fascist menace, which I think is... Um, oh, gives him gives like him... some sort of claim on us or whatever. I see. Yeah. Well, that sucks because my navy is not ready. I haven't even, even got one, I don't think. Well, hang on. Let's just have a look. Navy. Oh, wow. I'm up to... I'm actually up to um, about... 120 uh, 120 submarines which is quite a lot and um, the Kriegsmarine is up to 76 ships got a lot of got little planes um, nice got a lot of planes we're back up to a good supply of planes we got uh, 1,400 fighters and 1,000 dive bombers in stock um, but they're only the base level. We haven't got any upgrades, um, which is ideal. Excellent. The Iraqi People's Republic has capitulated, which is good. Once signal company's done, I'll put those into my tank divisions and then change them to mechanized. I've just requested an alliance with Spain. I don't know if they're going to no. be interested. Um, don't do that. Relax. Uh, Afghanistan has capitulated. Cool. Oh, finally, we got across the mountains and the river. Great. Great. Just wait. Oh, just wait. I still don't have uh, radars or anything. All right. Well. I think I'm falling behind on um, weapons and shit. Oh, infantry equipment. I still need tons of. Tons and tons and tons. Do you need tons? All oh, right. Well, I can give you some. No, no, that's cool. That's fine. I've got quite a few. It looks like you are. There you go. You're working on Switzerland nicely. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, looks very efficient. Catching up with my surplus of these. I'm getting a surplus mechanized now. Yeah, I get mechanized as well. I'm upgrading mechanized. And... Oh my god, Portugal was just declared war on Spain. What? Obviously, they were unhappy with the, the Spaniards. I hope they're okay. <laughs> they're dead. They're losing... They are <laughs> they fucked. Are, they have died. Oh, my God. They're losing everything. These guys are just fucking Lisbon's dead. Lisbon's always fallen. Jesus Christ. Spain just rolled them over. It took, like, two days. All of Portugal just got gobbled up completely. Well, you've got respect to the Portuguese for, for giving it a go, haven't you? They gave it, they gave it a go, a but shame. wow. That was devastating. I mean, it, it looks like they're holding Lisbon, but, but barely. They're bringing in some... Oh, no. That's it. <laughs> wow. That was very nice. short. We have a goal to go to war with the USSR. With the USSR? Yep. We can just declare war on them right now if we want. Wow. How do you feel about that? I don't know if that's a great idea. What do you think? Well... I'm not quite ready. Let me get some oil here in Venezuela first, and then I'll be ready. Need to build up a bit more of an air force. You need to really stockpile the shit out of planes. Like, we need lots of planes. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Especially if the US get involved. But against USSR, having air superiority and uh, and close air support is going to be huge. Okay. Well, maybe I should get some better planes. I haven't been bothering to research them at all. <laughs> I'm super lazy. I'm really fucking dumb. Yeah, once I get um, a new fighter model, I'll spend some of my air experience. Maybe I should be spending some of my Navy experience as well. And maybe even some of my arm experience upgrading the tanks. Having such as some... Yeah, I haven't been doing that at all. 
It's, it's, it's kind of a thing that sure. you can do, but I always forget. And also, I don't really want to change over my assembly line. If I'm going to change over my assembly line to like an upgraded version, I need to like, I need to do that. Um, oh, I lost my war goal against Venezuela. That's oh, did you wait too long? Yeah. I mean, you want to be careful with that. Like, I can't wait too long to declare war on them. Um, on yeah, I totally didn't see it lapse. I'm going to declare again. That sucks. I've just wasted all that political power. I wonder if I should, like, wonder what my, how long my war goal is for Russia. I probably don't have that all that long, you know. The United States is justifying against us again. We could just try and take Russia by, by storm. I'm fairly, I'm fairly well geared up, you know, for it, but it might be, this is what, this is, this is exactly what happened to Hitler. He thought, oh yeah, I'm, we're looking pretty good for it. Why don't we give it a go? And yeah. Then, you know how well that went. Yeah, but to be fair, he was sort of fighting on the, in the West as well at the time. Yeah, maybe I should research some anti-tanks. Okay, I'll do 10 mechanized divisions. We can probably do a few more. Oh, maybe not. Our manpower's a little bit, a little bit tight. We did lose a lot of troops before. All right. Maybe I should plan an attack on Moscow. We should always consider to, we should always plan to attack. Reme and remember, attack Moscow. Yes, always. And remember, attack Moscow. Oh, shit. Be excellent to each other. I've got to defend all of the UK as well. And party on, dude. I've made more friends with Turkey ever so slightly. Why? Well, we don't need friends. We don't need any friends. Oh, you know what it's like. Sometimes, sometimes man needs a friend. I can't believe how long Switzerland hangs on for. Like, I've caught their capital, it moved everything. Like, fuck <laughs> these guys. <laughs> their national unity is, like, insane. They're very, un they're very, they're very union. They're very in a union. They're very in a union, aren't they? Yeah. We've got Wehrmacht troops, strong, strong troops de deploying to all, all over the, um, all over my holdings in the north of Europe, which are important. I'm not too worried about holding on to Africa. Don't really need it. I don't anticipate Spain will be a problem. Do you? No. There. But then Switzerland is becoming quite a problem for me. Well, <laughs> I mean, how are you going to be all right there? Do you need, do you need anything? Okay. You, yeah, you I'll doing be fine. fine? You doing all right there? Yeah. You gonna be okay? Let's get the next dive bomber. And also, maybe it's time to get like a, a heavy bomber. Um, what's going on with the Soviet Union in Hungary, by the way? Are they still? Soviet Union in Hungary. Oh my God, yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on there. It's a mess. They're just like jamming their fingers in things. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my god, Switzerland. <laughs> Look at them. The worst. Oh man, this is going to be so good. I wonder whether I should just put like some tanks just in my normal attack force. I've got 78 divisions ready to like attack Moscow. If if anything goes down, if the Russians get get scary. Or could just I could just march straight across into Denmark and Sweden, but you know, how are our relations with them? Not good. But our relations with Russia are worse. Russia's opinion of us is not very good. Um, the Russians don't like us. They're just jealous. Soviet opinion is minus 10. They're just jealous of our Frankfurters. Oh my God, Soviet opinion of, um, Swedish opinion of us is minus 100. Take them out. I might have to. Show them who's boss. Say, uh, how do you like me now? Now that I'm in charge. So all that's left of Switzerland now in, a, in about two seconds is just their capital. <laughs> and they still have not capitulated. Well, you've got them surrounded though. You've got them on the ropes. Oh, it's rough. 
the, the, the war on Switzerland was a real grinder. I've lost 785,000 people in this war. They've lost 300,000. Let's have a look. What? Yeah. Oh my god, you've lost nearly a million men fighting against Switzerland. You've lost 300,000 men. Yeah. Holy shit. I know. Assholes, eh? What a, what a meat grinder. Yeah, it really is. Oh my god. We're pouring in now, though. This is the final push. <laughs> Come on, boys. Just a couple more casualties, just to see in the new year, I guess. Finally. Jesus Christ. They've capitulated and they gave us access to 75% of their stockpiled equipment, which is zero motorized. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Uh... Wow, it's two states. It's two states, yep. and it took that I long know. to take. It did, yeah. Holy really, shit. Really, really did. That is that is bad. Oh, this this, this attack on Denmark is going to be splendid. Oh, are you actually attacking them? Well, when I eventually have to, they're not going to stand a chance. I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to attack them, but I'm also feeling like I don't want to go into war with the wrong... The wrong guys, you know? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I just, um, I'm making like a million fucking military factories right now. I need some fighters and bombers. Bad. Still need some more oil. <laughs> Where haven't I built an oil refinery yet? Ah, the UK. Let's refine some oil in the UK. I'm defending it, so I might as well refine oil there. Maybe I should have like a UK defense force so that my garrison forces don't constantly swim around. Once we have the oil coming in, we'll be fine. I, have, I am having to import a lot of oil from the US though. Are you? Yeah. So we'll, we'll try and reduce that if we can. Uh, after I get this next tier of tank, I'll spend some of my army experience and... Um, and upgrade it a bit, and that will go into my armies a bit better. Oh man, I really want to clear war on Russia. I think I might have to. Are you, are you ready? Please don't. Romania's in. Romania's part of there. Um, oh shit, I probably should have some army down here. And I have a lot of chromium if you need it. Lots of chromium. Okay. Done my land doctrine, happy with that. Been down a good chunk of the artillery route. I've got a lot of planes in reserves. Wow, look at this. Nice. Because we captured all these countries, I've got like one of each plane from across the entire world. I've got some fairy swordfish. You got like a collection of planes some hawker nimrods. in a hangar. And this here is, baby, is, this is my plane collection. I've uh, been collecting these from all over the world during my conquest. Do 22. Both sexual and military. Armstrong. Whitworth Whitley. Oh my god. Oh yeah. yeah so many. That old chestnut. Uh, I'm just beefing up Guiana so that um, my dudes aren't all dying of attrition. Yeah, man. We got we got a lot of shit here now. You'll be glad to know. We got I'm justifying against Venezuela for the third time now. <laughs> uh -huh. uh. Did you just forget to declare yeah. war again? Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, partly. I wanted to get some planes and shit down here, too. Just in case. What will happen if I declare... Are you, are you gonna bring... You're gonna be at war with America if that happens? They might, yeah. They might guarantee them, and then it might kick off World War III. Because World War II technically has ended now. Yeah. Like, there's... Well, the Soviet Finnish War and the Japanese American War is still raging on, actually. Maybe the Americans will just be too busy with the Japanese. Looks like the Japanese are trying to invade Marcus Island <laughs> right now. I've got my eyes on old um, Ireland. Oh, yeah. I think I should justify a war goal against them. Yeah. Yeah, nice. See if anything happens if I do. 
I'll try it for I'll try just finding war goal against old um Denmark as well. I'll do some um search and destroy missions outside outside Denmark just to make sure they don't don't get out. And I'll send my submarines to convoy raid. Um uh -oh. Baltic and Yeah. All right, cool. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to send my, my my boys to actually convoy raid outside here. And they'll send my actual navy in, just directly in to, like, just wreck some, wreck some. Just totally wreck, wreck some, some ass. Wreck some boats in this flipping place. Just wreck some motherfucking ass. Yeah, let's, let's just smash some stuff up. Just smash some ass. Smash that ass. Smash that ass up. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Kiss my ass. Wash yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I think if we, I think, I think there's a chance though that Ireland might join, you know, the, um, you know, the, the faction. You know, the, the independent one is guaranteed by Sweden, you see. But the Northern yeah. Lights, you're worried that they might join the Northern yeah. Lights. Isn't, um, aren't the Soviets at war with the Northern Lights? Uh, still, I don't know. Because they're at war with Finland still. Uh, maybe they are still. What are they doing then? Being a bunch of bitches. Oh, well, they're still fighting, they're still fighting in the North. Maybe I should be helping them. Maybe I should be like... Getting on the side of the Northern Lights to take down the gigantic Russian, you know, monstr monstrosity. What do you think? I think that's a great idea, mister. <laughs> I've not researched any of the stuff in Road 56, by the way. There's like a whole tree on the end. I don't know if you've seen. Yeah, me too. I think I made like, I think I researched like steel mills There's or like something. There's like army but I focus. I still got all this other shit to do, though. There's loads of stuff to do. It's like air focus, the means the ends and various other focuses. I think they're all pretty good actually, I just haven't bothered to get them and I haven't done anything in here either. I could probably get like a lot more. They're all like fairly marginal buffs though. I wonder if they were in the game before they had like these continuous, oh then again there's a continuous focus in there. Maybe I shouldn't be just doing any old national focus, maybe I should just be doing a continuous focus. I always forget that they're a thing down here. So, you know, if I take, like, um, air production, I can, or dock yeah. naval production, I can, like, or maybe air production's better, I can build a whole bunch of, um, I can use my political power to build stuff faster. Rocket artillery, the Nebel, Nebelwerfer 41. I really should use rocket artillery. One day I'm going to build an army with rocket artillery and it'll be fucking awesome. Nice. Japan still wants our help against the Philippines, but but tough. <laughs> get out of here, tough Japan. Shit. How do I get rid of this last bit of attrition? If uh, like my supply area is green, it's like it's, it's good. Um, is there like something I'm missing? Uh, whereabouts are you? South America. Oh, we just have too many people. No, I don't think so. You might just have too many divisions here. Oh, it's supply like green. Well, maybe it's just because it's um, hot or something, or jungle or whatever down there. Right. August in um, summer in Venezuela. It's hot. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. You've got a lot of troops down there. You're going to be okay. I sure do. Have you got some mechanized yeah. divisions? Yeah. Motor. And you got some tanks as well. Cool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I do. You know it, mister.